Let's go see the big clock. Yes. Right? This is what you want to see? Yep. It's right there. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Big Ben has a crock and do do sirs and madams. I am the meat kaka and in today's episode of Whoops, I did it, Big Ben. Our favorite two time pieces, Risticles and Bright and Early, embark on an adventure around the town of London in search for some amazing tourist attractions to knock off their bucket list. So, tingle ling a ling, school bell a ring, Mr. Rubber Band. Pick a dial, any dial, and wake me up before you go go. Because if my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 subscribers per hour, you're going to see some serious sheets. It is really shiny. It is really like it looks like it's brand new. Like every time I'm coming with people, it's always been covered up. Really? Yeah. You have to like put a fake bell sound in there as well. A fake what? Fake bell sound. So was the you clock could, all covered or was it yeah, just? Yeah, it was all covered. It was all covered. It's covered. Wow. You can see anything. <laughs> Big Ben, officially the Elizabeth Tower, is a renowned clock tower at the Houses of Parliament in London. Completed in 1859, it stands 316 feet tall. The name Big Ben actually refers to the Great Hour Bell, weighing 15.1 tons. The clock, known for its accuracy, was the world's largest and most precise four-phase striking and chiming clock upon completion. Today, it remains a symbol of the UK and parliamentary democracy. Despacito. What is this, man? I have no idea. What is this? It's all part of the foreign office. The Treasury Building, officially known as Government Offices Great George Street, or GOGS, is located in Westminster, London. It has been the headquarters of Her Majesty's Treasure since 1940. The building was designed and constructed in two phases between 1898 and 1917. It stands on the site of a number of narrow old streets cleared to make way for the building. Admiralty Arch is a landmark building in London that provides road and pedestrian access between the Mall and Trafalgar Square. Commissioned by King Edward VII in memory of his mother, Queen Victoria, it was designed by Aston Webb and completed in 1912. It originally housed naval offices and residences and served as the official residence of the first Sea Lord. The arch is flanked by sculptures of navigation and gunnery designed by Thomas Brock. In 2012, the government sold the building on a 125-year lease for £60 million for a proposed redevelopment into a Waldorf Astoria luxury hotel and four apartments. This is where Mike Tyson caught a pigeon. Back in the 80s, 90s, right? Mike Tyson caught a pigeon. He was in Trafalgar Square and then he was, you know, because all the pigeons there? Yeah, yeah. And then he grabbed one. But they don't have the pigeons anymore, huh? They usually are. I guess there's so many people. Up, yeah. You think they clean it up now? Because that's what it's known for. Welcome to Trafalgar Square, where I have no knowledge of what Trafalgar Square is. <laughs> so I'm not going to say nothing. Najwa, would you like to chime in? Uh, Tour guide, would you like to tell us about our Trafalgar Square experience here? Tigers. Why the tigers are here like that? To protect the long 
Pipilu. Trafalgar Square is a public square in the city of Westminster, central London, established in the early 19th century. It's named after the Battle of Trafalgar, a British naval victory in the Napoleonic Wars. The square is dominated by Nelson's Column, a 185-foot monument to Lord Nelson, guarded by four lion statues. Other notable features include the National Gallery and the Church of St. Martin in the Fields. The square is a center of annual celebrations on New Year's Eve and has been used for community gatherings and political demonstrations. This thing is massive. You said the uh, the common folk get married here? No. No one, no one popular? No, 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 only, royalty. only royalty gets married here? St. Paul's Cathedral is an Anglican cathedral in London, England, serving as the mother church of the Diocese of London. It's located on Ludgate Hill, the highest point of the city of London. The present structure, completed in 1710, was designed in the English Baroque style by Sir Christopher Wren. The cathedral's construction was part of a major rebuilding program initiated after the Great Fire of London. The cathedral is one of the most famous and recognizable sites of London, with its dome dominating the skyline for over 300 years. At 365 feet high, it was the tallest building in London from 1710 to 1963. Never had a country of London now. What's up? Bring it on. Bring it on. Next time you see me driving. You're going to be driving left footed? Yep. Left handed? I need to come here every time I want to. Look, they're doing the guards. The guards are walking. Buckingham Palace is a London residence and administrative headquarters of the Monarch of the United Kingdom. Located in the city of Westminster, the palace is often at the center of state occasions and royal hospitality. Originally known as Buckingham House, the building was acquired by King George III in 1761 as a private residence for Queen Charlotte. It was enlarged during the 19th century and became the London residence of the British monarch on the accession of Queen Victoria in 1837. The palace has 775 rooms and the garden is the largest private garden in London. The state rooms, used for official and state entertaining, are open to the public each year for most of August and September. Oh my goodness my friends, this video has come to an end! I hope this experience has brought much joy and laughter to the heart and soul. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification so you never miss an update from us. And if you want to stay connected, be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Your support means the world to us. Hey, why do guards around Big Ben always look so tired? Because they're working around the clock. Alright, I did good. Okay, ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Come again.